My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, I'm Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today, we're doing fish and parchment paper. I'm doing a petrosol. It is a beautiful, light fish. It is delicate and very thin and perfect for parchment paper. So let's get started. And first thing we want to do is just salt and pepper this fish. Definitely, you want to get some salt and pepper. And this is once again a petrosol. This is a fish that is on uh, the actual Pacific coast here. But Dover sole, this is pepper here also. I'm putting some pepper on. And Dover sole works perfect if you're on the East Coast. And, um, and also, say if you're in Europe, Mediterranean sea bass works great. A nice, thin, beautiful fish. Now this is dill. I love dill with this. It just works so perfect. It's lemony. It has just beautiful, it's just dill and fish, and especially a very mild white fish, just go so perfect together. And that's it, it's that simple. Now we're gonna take the small thin end. Remember, these are thin pieces, boneless, skinless fish. And we're gonna roll it we're gonna just roll it right up just like this to the thick end and look at that. And the same with this. We're gonna roll from the thin end. I, I took the opposite direction so you guys could see. And to the thick end and roll perfectly. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? So we are done, that's that simple. Put a little bit of garnish on top of it to make it look pretty. We're done with the fish. Now let's get our vegetables. And I love about this dish, one thing I love, it's a one pot wonder. So you got your vegetables, your fish, all in the parchment paper. No other dirty in any pots and pans. Let's get our veggies ready that we're gonna stuff in that parchment paper. I have a very important tip here in working with leeks and that's one of the things we're putting in. Um, actually, leeks are extremely, extremely dirty inside. So. I like to uh, first split apart the leek and go like this and split it in half. It's much, much easier to work that way. And then you, you work right down, right? And what? there is so much dirt in between all the layers of onions right here. What I like to do is take them, just as a really important tip. I actually am doing this in a bowl for you so you could see it. Uh, myself, I actually do it in the sink instead of a bowl like this and just let all the onions like this and you'll see at the bottom of this bowl there'll be so much sand and dirt and grit coming out of the leeks. So you want to make sure and do that before you throw leeks in anything because you'll definitely get a lot of the dirt and sand and grit and you don't want that. You don't want that. So, in our bowl here for our veggies, we first have our cleaned leeks and all the exact measurements and everything are right down below in the description center so uh, you could see. I have a fennel bulb here all chopped up and I'll put a link here if you're not used to working a with a fennel bulb. I did that on one of my episodes also. Fennel it has that wonderful licorice scent and it goes perfect with that earthy leek. And then along with that, I love to cut up some carrots and some uh, red peppers. And I like to do different angles and different cuts so it visually looks beautiful. And then with that, I've got a garlic, just one, because remember our fish is so mild and light. I don't want a heavy, heavy, uh, strong flavor going into that. So just a little bit of garlic and some thyme. Thyme just works wonderful with 
the actual uh, root vegetable uh, works perfect with carrot there. Uh, it, it goes great with the leeks. So a little bit of thyme right on in. Perfect. And then we're just gonna some olive oil right into the pan and some salt and pepper. And that is it. And if you want to try uh, different vegetables, uh, you know, if you're not a fan of certain things in here, try different vegetables. I definitely would. A little bit of pepper. There we go. Now we're just going to mix this all. Look at all that salt. And look at all the colors. This is just, it's beautiful. And this is going to lie on the bottom of the parchment paper. And so this will just steam and give all those beautiful flavors on top of that fish. So let's get that parchment paper ready. Okay, we have our parchment paper here. It's one sheet of parchment paper cut into a half heart. So when I actually open it up, it looks like a semi heart. So that is actually a French way of doing it. And this is a great tip, olive oil on this. Uh, it really helps with a lot of sealing, uh, a lot of different things. So, especially in crimping on the edges, uh, helps with keeping that fold when we're keeping this will actual seal when we fold on top of each other. And it just keeps that wonderful seal on the edge with this olive oil we're painting on here. So we got olive oil on there. Let's get some of our veggies, our veg mix. And you don't want to go crazy overboard with everything uh, or it won't seal. So uh, let's, that is perfect amount. And you don't want to be right on the edge right here of the seal. And let's take our fish. Let's put them on like that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the colors of that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fold this back onto it like this. Come down to the edges. Try to take as much air out as you can. And push down. And start at the top of the heart here and do your fold, your first fold like that. And then keep folding. The next fold, keep going. The next fold, and just keep folding all the way through. And the folds will actually keep it sealed. They'll stay on top of each other. So keep folding all the way down through. Yes, I can smell that dill, the dill and the lemony flavor. Okay, now so you guys can see, I'm going to pull it around this way. Keep folding all the way through. So you see what's going on right now, right? And you see how these are keeping their fold? Keep on down through. And here, and your last one, let me spin it around so you can see. The last one, take the fold and put it underneath like that and crimp it. Now look at that. This will go right into the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 depending on the thickness of your fish. But you saw how I rolled the fish because it was a very thin fish. And that's why I rolled it for two reasons, to keep the moisture in and uh and for looks so there was two reasons why i did that and we'll get that right onto a sheet pan and right into the oven the oven is set at 400 and we're ready to throw the fish in and right before i do i'm just going to add a little bit of our white wine to this just uh, about a tablespoon or two tablespoons let me fold that back under. 
uh, and that will bring an amazing, amazing flavor with a little bit of the acidity from this wine. Let's get that in there. 400 degrees, once again, 20 minutes. I took off the top shelf because the actual parchment paper will expand and uh, we don't want it hitting the top rack. Today's wine that I actually poured in there, uh, and we're going to be drinking with it, is a pick pull. Uh, I know a lot of people might not be familiar with it. It is actual a French varietal. Um, it's one of the 13 approved varietals in the Rhone region, like Chateauneuf de Pop. It is very known for its high, high acidity, a bite, and has this wonderful lemony flavor to it. Mm. It will go perfect with there, with the fish. And that's why I love to add a little bit of the wine to it because it has this beautiful lemony notes and these melon notes. It will just pair perfectly with it. I can't wait to try that. You guys are really going to like this one. It's been 20 minutes. It's grabbed the fish out of the oven. It smells amazing in here. Oh, yes. Ooh. You can hear that sizzling. Now let's just cut right into it. Woo, step back, the steam will come out. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I can't wait to dig into that. I would first like to thank all my subscribers, and if you're not yet a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you know what I'm making next week. And I'll put a link for this uh, awesome pick pull from Lone Madrone down in the description center with the recipe, because you will love this wine. Okay, let's get a little bit of everything here. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Just so beautiful, light and flavorful. You're just getting everything, that lemony dill with the light flaky soul. This is an amazing recipe and it's so easy, a one pot wonder. Thank you for stopping by Wine and Dine and we'll see you next week.